Hello everyone, welcome to the preparation series from Easy Engineering Classes. In this preparation series, we bring to you previous year questions from various competitive exams like Gate Computer Science, UGC Net Computer Science and Bank IT Officer exam. So today we will be solving a question from Operating System subject that appeared in Gate 2015. So the question is, Suppose the following disk request sequence that is track numbers for a disk with 100 tracks is given and the sequence is 45, 20, 90, 10, 50, 60, 80, 25 and 70. Assume that the initial position of the read write head when starting is on track 50. The additional distance that will be traversed by the read write head when scan or the elevator algorithm is used as compared to the shortest seek time first algorithm is dash number of tracks. So you have to assume that the scan algorithm moves towards 100 when it starts. Okay, so basically you are given a sequence of uh, different track numbers that are requested and you have to find a comparison between the scan algorithm or the elevator algorithm and the SSTF algorithm which is shortest seek time first algorithm and you have to tell the difference. Okay, so please read the question carefully. It is asking additional distance that will be traversed. All right, so starting with the SSTF algorithm first. In shortest seek time first, what do we actually do? We traverse or we move the head to the next request that is the nearest one to the current head location or the request to which the seek time of the head will be the least. So let us first place all the numbers or the disk request that will be generated by the sequence or the system. So the disk requests can range from 0 to 100 and the increasing order in which the requests are made is 10, 20, then we have 25, then there is 45, then 50. 50 is the current position of the head. Then we have 60, 70, 80, 90. All right, so 90 and please ignore this line and this is 100. You can write 100 here, okay? So initially disk is at this position and since 50 is a particular request, that means we have to serve a particular request at track 50. So we serve the first request here itself, okay? Then the shortest distance or the shortest seek time from 50 can be either to 45 or to 60 but 50 minus 45 is less than 60 minus 50 therefore we move towards 45 and service 45 here all right this requires a seek time of five units now from 45 the least request will be from 45 to 60 which requires a seek time of 15 units instead of from 45 to 25 which requires 20 units. So from 45 we move to 60 and service this request which makes or which uses a 15 units of time. Then from 60 definitely the nearest one is 70 that makes use of 10 units then 80 again 10 units then 90 and then we stop because 100 is not a request okay it is the end of the disk and there we do not have to serve any request the next nearest request will be at 25 at this position all right so from 90 we turn and go towards 25 and this requires 65 unit of time okay 90 minus 25 from 25 we need to service 20 which is the nearest that requires 5 units and from 20 we come to 10 again requiring 10 units all right so all these requests are serviced and now let's sum up and find out how much actual time is taken so as for SSTF the time that would be taken would be initially at 50 we have serviced one request so that is 0 then 45 
that requires 5 units, then 60 which requires 15 and we sum up like this. Then 65 units, then 5 units and 10 units and when you calculate and perform this addition you will get a total of 130 here. Alright, so now let's start with the scan algorithm. Here scan algorithm would generate a different amount of time and we have to tell how much what is what would be the difference here. So the scan algorithm what does it do? It starts in one particular direction and it services all the requests that are made in that direction. Alright, and after servicing all the requests in that direction, it reverses the head and moves in the opposite direction servicing all the requests when it moves to the other end so if it starts suppose somewhere at 50 it will since we are told that the in the scan algorithm we have to move towards 100 so it will start from 50 because the current head is at 50 and it will service all the requests while going to one end of the disk which is 100 and it will go to 100 also to the extreme end of the disk and then it will reverse its direction and come back till the first request okay so now let's number the requests just like we did in the previous traversal so 10 20 25 this is 45 then 50 where that is the location of the current head 70 80 90 and 100 this is the end okay so initially our uh, disk head is at this position 50 and one request is serviced here it will it is moving in 100 the direction towards 100 so we do not have to check or think of anything else we have to move towards the right and service all the requests that come in our way so first 60 is serviced then 70 then 80 then 90 and it will go till the extreme end to 100 even if 100 is not a actual request so how much distance or how much time is taken 10 in each case all right now it reverses its direction and services in the opposite direction. So from 90 it will come to this point which is 45. So it comes here and services this request. So 90 minus 45 sorry 100 minus 45 is 55. From 45 it will go towards the left and service all the requests. So this is 20 then 25 and then towards 10 and it goes to 10 and it will stop here because there are no more requests here it reached the end because there were more requests to service here it will stop at the last request all right so we have to sum up all these values and find out how much time this scan algorithm is taking okay so plus 55 plus 20 plus 5 and plus 10 so if you sum this up this will come 50 plus 55 105 125 130 and 140 so a total of 140 which is 10 more than 130 so the answer is 10 because i told you initially also that you have to tell the difference so 140 minus 130 is 10 tracks so that is all for today's lecture i hope you understood how i have solved both these questions or both these uh, the question by both these algorithms so if you understood this question please like our video and mention in the comment section below how did you find it thank you for watching subscribe to the channel of easy engineering classes for more tutorials on various computer science subjects and more lectures in this preparation series stay tuned good luck